Okay guys, so if you guys haven't noticed yet, inside of the patch note, I did go over this when we actually saw the update sneak peek and things like that, but there has been a lot of changes that happen to a lot of the normal things that we took advantage of. And that includes something like the Tree of Wishes, as well as the Fountain of Abundance, and things like that. So if you guys look right over here at the very bottom, or near the Cookie Max level, you guys can see all the changes that happen right over here. So Cookie Houses increase mass production time times 3, allowing the house to hold more EXP Star Jellies. Fountain of Abundance, more EXP Star Jellies, plus 1 per hour in level 3 to 15. Tower Sweet Chaos, more EXP Star Jellies, plus 50% in replay rewards, as well as World Exploration, more EXP Star Jellies, plus 3 per level, and then today's bounty, more skill powders and things like that. So because of the fact that these changes have been made, although they are small changes on paper, if you guys take advantage of the things that I'm going to tell you right now, you guys can actually maximize the rewards that you're going to be able to get from these changes. So first of all, is going to be here. So if you guys remember, I did talk about this statue of Heroic Radiance, which is going to be a huge uh, benefit for your kingdom. Not only does this statue increase the normal stance of your cookies, it actually helps you out inside of the resource aspect of things by increasing the production speed of the Fountain of Abundance as well as the production speed of your cookie houses as well as increasing the coins that you're able to get from the Tree of Wishes. So here is what comes into play because of these buffs as well as because of the changes that took place after this update increasing the max level of your cookies these technologies have actually become very 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 important so normally you know majority of the players do focus on the cookie aspect of things like you know first of all starting off with tastier star jellies increasing the efficiencies of your exp star jellies to the normal stance of your cookies so you know focusing on hp defense attack crit percentage and things like that you know people have been focusing seeing a lot on the cookie aspect of things however because of the fact that now we are dealing with the level increase right the max level increase from 60 to 70 and because there are things like the statue of heroic radiance and things like that you have to slowly focus on these technologies inside of the kingdom aspect of things all right so starting with this right here uh, is going to be the faster production of course this is something that i've actually talked about already but you do need to focus on this in order to not only help you store more exp star jellies especially while you're sleeping right because of the fact that they have increased the hold duration of the cookie houses if you do increase these production speed all right then you guys can actually have more uh, stored for you while you guys are off of doing work maybe a uh, school sleeping and things like that and on top of that this right over here fountain of abundance all right faster production speed because now we are able to get some extra production speed from the statue of heroic radiance this is actually going to increase the production speed even further allowing you to not only farm the exp star jellies and the regular rewards from it but also those radiant shards in order to upgrade the statue as well as get extra slots for your hall of ancient heroes so this one in particular is going to actually increase the production of your fountain and if you guys go further you guys can also see something like this right here this is actually going to increase the star jelly production of the fountain of abundance not only that you do want to take advantage of something like this faster balloon expedition because of the fact that you guys saw in my previous video talking about how to farm these radiant shards Balloon Expedition is another way for you to get constant amount of Radiant Shards in order to use it for your statue as well as the hall. So this is also going to be very important as well as if you guys keep going right here, there's another faster production for the Fountain of Abundance. And right here, you guys can also take advantage of the Tree of Wishes coin, increasing the amount of coin you get. So not only from here, but you guys can actually maximize it even further by using this buff along with the Statue of Heroic Radiance. So it keeps going further and further and further. There's a lot of different things that you guys can actually level up in order to maximize the resources that you're able to get. And not only that, guys, because of the fact that you guys do have the metal shot in order to get these radiant shards not only is the arena a method for you to actually gain metals okay there's the mayhem as well the mayhem actually gives you a huge amount of 
metals for you guys to use inside of the metal shop so don't slack off on your mayhem even if you're lacking on your cookies like the level and the skill level don't worry about it just tackle it guys just get in there try to clear it you know climbing is pretty easy in the beginning so just take advantage of it and make sure you guys are actually spending your tickets and climbing the mayhem as well but just make sure guys to take advantage of all of these things, especially the update that has taken place. These slight changes might seem small on paper, but when you actually take all of these different buffs that are given out to the players, you can actually increase it and you guys can take greater advantage of it by doing these things. Anyways guys, just wanted to share this tip with you guys and just wanted to show you guys that these things now are very, very important when it comes to the kingdom aspect of things because you are gonna need more coins, you are gonna need more EXP star jellies, you are gonna need more shards, as well as you're gonna need more skill powders as well. So take advantage of these things guys and don't slack off on it because it is going to be very important. Anyways guys, I hope you guys found the video helpful. I hope you guys are slowly climbing your way up in order to level up these cookies and also make sure to take advantage of the hall of ancient heroes as well as a statue because they are a great feature for not only the players who are lacking the exp star jellies but also for players who are trying to test out different things as well anyways guys make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and the notification bell if you guys found the video helpful and once again guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys all on the next one